So the convicted murderer, Gypsy Rose Blanchard, just got engaged in prison and it's something that we need to talk about and surprisingly, there are some lessons that we can learn from this situation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from pop culture or the news and try to see what lessons that we can learn from them. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I did not know who Gypsy Rose Blanchard was. Some of you might know, not know who Gypsy Rose Blanchard was. Unless you're like somebody new and you just found my channel because of this video, in that case, subscribe, notification bells turned on. But anyways, um, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is a convicted murderer. She murdered her mom, all right? And she just got engaged behind bars. She um, is serving another 10 years in prison for this murder. And some of you are like, wait, what? She murdered her mom? Like, on the surface, it's like, that's terrible. Underneath the surface, it's terrible too. Like, murdering your mother is terrible. But this is a very fascinating story. Um, it's something that my beautiful girlfriend Tristan told me about and I had no idea. How did I not know about this story? So my girlfriend Tristan and I, we just started watching this show on Hulu called The Act and it is a series about this story, all right? And it is fascinating and crazy and I thought about doing videos on it. I might, um, if you want me to, let me know down in the comments below or just give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like this um, if you want me to talk about it. But anyways, I'm gonna give you the, the TLDR of this story. So Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her mom, uh, Dee Dee, um, they moved to a city and they, so basically the mother is somebody who is abusive, manipulative, um, and she, she has her daughter and she's like manipulated. It is so hard to explain because it is one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. She has manipulated her daughter into believing that she has a wide range of illnesses. Like Gypsy Rose Blanchard has a feeding tube. Gypsy is also in a wheelchair. Her head is shaved. Her mother has made her believe that she has an allergy to sugar. And like where we're at in the Hulu series, like I'm not gonna give a bunch of spoilers, even though it's already kind of spoiled because we know what happened. Kind of like the Titanic you knew what was gonna happen, right? But anyways, like, like Gypsy has a feeding tube, she's in a wheelchair, everybody thinks that this is it. Like, um, Dee Dee like submits um, Gypsy to get like prizes and everything. There's even a thing where like, Gypsy's mom Dee Dee like has all her teeth removed and she gets fake teeth, but her mom is like keeping her sick. And over time, Gypsy realizes that this is all fake and Gypsy is a young woman. Gypsy was like lied to about her age as well. And she ends up meeting a guy online and talking about how she's like, you know, being held captive by her mom or whatever. And she ends up meeting this guy and this hasn't happened in the series yet, to my knowledge. But anyway, she meets this guy, talk to him, and he, she ends up convincing the guy to come out there and they murder her mother. And then they run away together and didn't work out too well because they got caught. And I've thought about doing videos on this just from like a philosophical point of view. Like just, this is a terrible situation all around, all around. Like the mother started like beating her and the mother was very verbally and emotionally abusive. Um, as with most abusive relationships, the mother, it was a power dynamic, right? And the mother was like, uh, you know, trying to isolate Gypsy from everybody else. I'm the only one you have. Keeping Gypsy medicated, like it is an insane story. If you have Hulu, watch the act. It is absolutely bananas. But anyways, Gypsy's engaged now. And people were like, um, there, were, there have been interviews with Gypsy. There was a documentary about Gypsy. Um, and I don't, I didn't see that, but I've seen some of the interviews and everything. And basically Gypsy's like in prison for murder. And in an interview, she was like talking about how like, she's much happier in prison and she's finally able to leave, live a normal life. And the reporter's like, what, a normal life, you're in prison. But to Gypsy, that is normal for her. Like, that is more normal than like rolling around in a wheelchair because her mother's trying to keep her sick and eating out of a feeding tube and not having sugar. Like, that's normal for her. But anyways, let's talk about her getting engaged. So there's another show that I've been watching. Um, the season just ended. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend's best friend got us into the show. It's called Love After Lockup. And oh my God, like, I wanna do videos about how just we as a society, we just love watching like trashy reality television. I don't even know why I'm watching it. Like, so Love After Lockup, it's an entire series about people who meet prisoners 
who are in prison and then they try to like get married afterwards. And spoiler alert, like 99.9% .9 of them did not work out. And it is bananas. Like I'm sitting there and I'm like, are you surprised? Like, are you surprised? Like. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a recovering drug addict, and here's a big fat disclaimer, I used to be an awful person. The only thing that separates me from some other people is the fact that I didn't get caught. So I'm not saying that don't give people a chance, don't uh, think that people can't change, because I'm living proof that you can. I used to be a complete piece of human garbage, and now I'm a pretty decent guy. So I'm not saying that you know nobody can be reformed, but like there's, there's one um, situation where you know, there's a guy, Clint, and he starts dating a woman in prison. She gets out. He just, like, gives her all of his money. And then, like, they get married after a day. She ends up relapsing on crack, disappears with his money, um, his rental car, which he owes, like, $20,000 on. She gets arrested multiple times. And then, like, she gets out. And he's like, hey, I still love you. Let's be together. What? Right? Um, there's, uh, <laughs> there's another guy who was dating a woman in there and uh, he he went broke too, giving her all of his money to feed her addiction while she was in prison. That didn't work out, is that a surprise? There's a woman who dated this guy in there, they got out, they were gonna get married and the guy was just not changed at all and he like had like aggression issues because for a lot of people, especially like in addiction recovery, a lot of it's the lifestyle that people have a problem giving up. And I'll, I'll say this, the whole prison system is an absolute joke, all right? So much of the prison system is not about rehabilitation, it is about punishment. And that is just scientifically proven not to work. Like we need to rehabilitate people. So anyways, that's why I think when a lot of people get out of prison, it's an issue. So when we look at Gypsy Rose Blanchard and the fact that she got engaged, somebody is engaged to her, somebody asked this woman to marry her. Like the whole time I was watching Love After Lockup, like those of you who know me, I'm always trying to like, analyze people and trying to get inside their mind and say, what led them to this decision? Like, what was this? Why did they do this? Why, like with over 7 billion people on this planet, what made them say, you know what? I'm going to find somebody in prison, okay? And yeah, there was another woman from Love After Lockup who found a guy and got engaged to him, but the guy's still married to his baby's mama and it just turned into a hot mess. And I'm sorry, that show is just like, I was watching it, I'm like, what is happening? But like, I kept wanting to watch. Pretty crazy. But anyways, like what, what makes somebody wanna do this? What makes somebody say, you know what? I'm gonna find this person. And like, we see this a lot, just like not even with like prison relationships. Like how many of us, how many of us seek out somebody who is quote unquote broken? Like a lot of this has to do with codependence, right? We're looking for someone broken because they need us, they want us, they need, uh, uh, you know, we wanna be able to fix them, nobody else understands them, well nobody understands me, so we'll be together. I always said this to my clients when I was working in the treatment center, because one of the things about like addiction is you're not supposed to date for your first year, it's a highly, highly suggested tip. Because like, I always said this, like when in the history of humanity has it ever been a good idea to take two glasses, break them, and then scoop them together and say, oh, this is gonna work, right? So I see that happening a lot. People think that you take two broken people, you put them together and it's gonna equal a good relationship. This often isn't the case. So when I talk about anything, like when it comes to relationships, like both people need to be at a place where they're doing well. So like Gypsy Rose Blanchard, like getting engaged, I'm like, is she fixed? Is she better? Like, what has she shown to show that she has worked on herself and everything like that? But the thing is, like, we're not talking about her just acting a little kooky or even getting arrested on a drug crime. Like, this is murder. Like, she murdered her mother, all right? Now, again, if you want me to do a video about, like, kind of, like, the philosophical ideas behind this, because I've seen some people argue that it was justified murder, which I disagree with, but... I can talk about that in another video if you want me to. But like, I think another aspect of this, because you know, there's a new movie coming out about Ted Bundy. A lot of people were attracted to Ted Bundy, a serial killer, a serial killer who brutally w murdered young women. I think part of it is too, a lot of people try to find a partner based on status, right? Like how many times have you tried to date a woman or a man based on their status, based on their popularity, based on their money, right? So I like doing videos about this, like analyzing us as a society and just like kind of bring to light that a lot of us, like we have these like really weird ideas and 
logic just seems to completely fly out the window. Like, there are so many men and women on this planet, what is making us want to go to these relationships that have a very high probability of not working out. Like, I, I, I am not a pessimist by any stretch of the imagination, but I think that I, I really try to use like logic and ration when it comes to like decisions that I'm making. You know what I mean? So what is the likelihood that these relationships are gonna work out? What are the chances? You know what I mean? Like, my, like emotions aside, like that, that intense feeling of love aside, because a lot of us need to realize that we cannot keep making decisions based on our emotions because that gets us in trouble. Like what is the likelihood of this working out? You know what I mean? But anyways, anyways, let me know what you think of Gypsy Rose Blanchard getting engaged. If you're watching the act, let me know your thoughts on that below. If you want me to make more videos about the Gypsy Rose Blanchard uh, story, let me know down in the comments as well, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel, get involved in our monthly Q&A, get access to some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.